Hey everybody, it's Mike with Enviroscape LA. You know what, it's winter, uh, it's January 2nd, 2014, and I we had a little bit of downtime uh, from building ponds and waterfalls. We actually got this monster waterfall we're building next week, and I'll clue you in on that, I'll take some video. But in the meantime, I want to show you what where my real passion is. It's growing non-GMO, local, organic food. And I found this system, it's a vertical system, so I can grow 10 times more food in a tiny little space. Now, in my backyard, I've got it all tricked out. I've got koi ponds, I've got, um, uh, I mean, people have gotten married here in my backyard. So, uh, you know, I, I don't have a lot of room to, to grow stuff. So I found these sweet little systems, they're, called, they're vertical systems called aeroponic systems, and wrote an article for the latest Ponds USA magazine about this. Uh, but I just wanted to show you, I found a way that we could actually improve. Now from the pond world, we have something called an autofill. So when you go away on vacation and your water gets really low for your fish, this autofill is like your toilet float. It, uh, where it actually, if it gets too low, it'll actually, the float will actually fill up water until it gets to predetermined level and then it stops. Well guess what, they have that for, for the pond world. I took some of those and I actually installed them here in these vertical gardens. And what's nice about this, you can, you can actually see this. Uh, uh, here's, here's one in action here, I just pulled this aside. So as soon as this water gets low, it actually fills up. Now some people actually put this unit into the box itself. The problem I have with that is that here's a tomato plant, for example. Now, where in the world can you find tomatoes growing other than Southern California, right? In, in, in January. So anyway, I've got these things. I've got, probably have, have a few tonight for dinner. Anyway, um, tomatoes are have voracious appetites for water, and they have humongous root system. So the root system, it'll actually grab onto that autofill. Let's say you go on vacation, grabs onto it, pushes it down. You're going to have a... <laughs> $2,000 water bill. So what we did was we put these things inside of the autofills inside of valve boxes so that they're bulletproof, uh, literally you can uh, shoot an arrow uh, at this and it won't penetrate. And so obviously roots are not going to penetrate. So we're going to put the top on. And then uh, just to show you a little bit of system, I actually have four vertical gardens here, uh, the aeroponic gardens. I put this union here, so in case I ever need, wanted to disassemble this box or di disassemble this, I put this thing called a union. All I have to do is unscrew this, and uh, this unit, I can lift it off. So it's another great invention. I didn't want to put a, a garden hose here because garden hoses, over time, they get beat up by the sun and some of those chemicals will go in. It kind of defeats the purpose of this food grade plastic along with uh, my organic food. Um, then I, uh, you can see where my whole goal is at being a professional landscaper, I, my whole goal is to try to make things pretty. So I'm actually gonna get a cover for these, but in the meantime, what we did was we actually had the Enviroscape crew build a, a nice little platform. We put a little synthetic uh, sod right here, turf, uh, just to make it look pretty. This is gonna look really pretty once I'm completely done, but I just got excited and just had to explain to you what was going on here. Now you see I have four systems going on here. And over here, um, just give you a little bit of the background here. I'm gonna paint these things green. And I actually, uh, we ran pipe from the back and we put a gate valve on it. We shot it over here, I'm gonna paint that green. Or probably paint this brown and then paint this green. And then this is gonna fill up and um, I'll never have to worry about going on vacation or and coming home to a dead garden, it's, uh, this, this is actually going to have uh, fresh food, it's going to have organic food, so when I get home I don't have to worry about it. Um, anyway, that's about it for now, and the best way to do an organic garden system in your backyard, get a ton of food, actually uh, these, a little bit about these particular gardens, each one of these smaller ones holds 20 uh, items, you can see this chart here is lettuce. Again, it's January. Where do you find this in January? Okay, and then this is, I love kale. I eat it in my, sh I drink it every morning in my shake, and then I drink it at night. I drink it at lunchtime. I was just a kale fanatic. So this is, but I actually found an extension for this. This actually holds 28 plants. So I have almost 100 plants. I intend on getting some more uh, extension kits. You can get, get these uh, available. And then I'll be able to grow over 100 plants in a six by six, uh, six by 10 area can't do that with a soil garden because you grow uh, horizontally. This, we're growing vertically. And uh, the nice side point about this is it recycles the same water over and over again. This is filled with water and it recycles the same water over and over again. 
you can't do that with a soil garden. Well, you, you can, that's another video. But uh, uh, we created a, uh, a recycling garden with a uh, water garden, with soil garden, with recycle the same water over and over again. That's another video. But this right here, I think this is the sweet spot if you want fresh food, and uh, these are food machines, and you wanted non-GMO, this is it. For more information, you can visit, visit us at your website. Get your own if you just wanted one unit. You can put it on upstairs at a deck. It'll grow. It does fabulous. Um, you can go to our website, www.enviroscapela.com, or you can uh, contact me personally. Uh, it, it, my information is on the website. So that's it, folks. This is January 2014. We're starting this year out with a bang. When you think sustainability, think in Viruscape, LA.